In part 3, I have discussed generation of carbene and this is also generation of carbenes. So it will be convenient for you if you watch all the previous videos that is part 1, 2 and 3 before watching this video. Okay, it will be easier for you to understand this. So generation of carbene basically two methods are there. One is elimination that I have covered in part 3. Another one is basically fragmentation reaction. So under fragmentation reaction, we have total four types and that depends on what type of compounds we are using as precursor of carbene. So here we can see diazo compounds, tocyl, hydrogen, ketene and three membered carbon rings. So these four type of molecules will be used as carbene precursor. Okay, so one by one we will see these reactions. The first one is diazo compound that will be the precursor. So what is diazo compound? So this is the structure of diazo compound. C double bond N, then another N is also, uh, nitrogen atom is also there and carbon is bonded to two more alkyl groups or any aromatic ring, fine. So these are the most frequently used precursor if we want to synthesize carbene by fragmentation method. Now, if we want to know the detailed structure that for the diazo compounds, it is like this. So these two structure you can interconvert by resonance, this negative charge, if it is making another bond, then there will be negative charge over carbon. So this is another structure possible. Now, if we follow valence isomerism, you can also get the structure diazirin, which is basically constitutional isomer for diazo compounds that is uh, possible to get only by pericyclic reaction. So diazirin is also, you can say as a precursor, but that is that we can get only through valence isomerism from diazo compounds. Now for diazo compounds, if we do photolysis or pyrolysis, heat or light, any of these two you have to apply, then diazo compound, there will be cleavage to yield the corresponding carbene and also the two nitrogen atoms that will be removed in the form of stable nitrogen molecule. So see, these are the methods. You can apply any, uh, that is heat or photo, photolysis or pyrolysis in presence of Lewis acid, we are getting carbene and uh, this part will be removed in the form of nitrogen. These two are groups, it may be same or it may be different. Now, if we use MLN, that means any metal associated with some ligands, if we use this type of speed compound, then we can also get metal carbene, which is basically carbenoid. Now, what is carbenoid? That is discussed in the previous video in detail. You can watch that video. Okay. Sorry, one thing I forgot to mention that uh, large scale use of diazo compounds that is actually avoided. The reason is its toxicity and also explosive behavior. So to get rid of that problem, you can also use tocyl hydrogen as precursor to avoid all these problems. So it is usually better to use diazo precursor. That means now we will use a compound which, from which diazo compound will be generated because it is difficult to use diazo compounds directly because of its unstable nature and some explosion may be there. So to avoid that, you can use some diazo precursor, which is basically tocyl hydrogen. Now, first we have to know what is hydrogen. The simplest and most common compound for this diazo precursor is hydrogen. So once we know hydrogen, then we'll see what is tocyl hydrogen. So hydrazon is, you can make it starting from carbonyl compound and N2H4 that is hydrazine. Here are two hydrogen atom from N2H4 and this oxygen will be removed in the form of water and ultimately you are getting hydrazone. So this is the diazo precursor. Now in presence of any of this oxidizing agent, finally we can get diazo. But here we are interested to know the structure of tocyl hydrogen, not simple hydrogen because that is better than hydrazone. So this is tocyl hydrazone. Uh, we will see the structure. They are good starting materials for this purpose because transient diazo compounds we can get by base catalyzed elimination of toluene sulfate. But what is tocyl hydrazone? That we have to see first. 
Here we have taken this carbonyl compound. One side of the C double bond there is pH. Another side we have this three carbon chain. Now in presence of TSNH NH2, it is not hydrazine. It is some derivative of hydrogen. One hydrogen atom of hydrogen is replaced by TS group. We are also using some base. Now what is TS group? See, this is actually the tocyl group. There is benzene ring at four position CH3 at this position that is with respect to CH3 at 4 position also there is SO2 group. So you can also write it in this way PTOL that means para toluene. So position of SO2 group and methyl 1, uh, 4, 1, 4 position. Okay. So this after this point there will be 2 nitrogen atom. So this is uh, TS and then NH, NH2. Okay. Now how we are making it? TS, NH, NH2, we are treating it with this carbonyl compound in presence of base. But before uh, the, we say something about the role of base. First see, in the same way as we have obtained hydrazone in the previous reaction, by using simple N2H4 and some carbonyl compound, this is a general structure, but now we have taken a particular keto compound in presence of TS, NH, NH2, that is tocyl hydrazine, these two H2, hydrogen atom and this oxygen if it is removed in the form of water now there will be C double bond N okay and this hydrogen which is still left I mean this hydrogen which is still present because of its acidic nature now it will be captured by this base MeO minus methoxide which is coming from sodium methoxide now once this H is captured by methoxide there will be generation of carbon but remember this is the tocyl hydrogen which is the precursor for diazo compound so from this precursor using some base you can have this base catalyzed elimination of toluene sulfinate so here toluene sulfinate will be removed finally so see after generation of this uh, sorry uh, probably i have said carbon this is not carbon it is negative charge over nitrogen Fine. So this negative charge, here the mechanism is such, this lone pair, if it is making a NN double bond, then this bond will be broken. So this part is removed, which is basically toluene sulfinate. Fine. And then after application of heat, we are getting finally the diazo compound. So see, this diazo compound, we are not isolating it. We are also not starting the preparation of carbene starting from diazo. But we are making diazo compound starting from tocyl hydrogen by using base catalyzed elimination of toluene sulfinate. So finally you are getting diazo compound which is not isolated and then heat and uh, we have to apply it more strongly. And finally this part will be removed in the form of nitrogen. Basically this last step you have seen it already in case of the first method. Only how we are reaching this diazo compound starting from tocyl hydrogen that's, that part is new only so finally we are getting carbon where one side we have ph another side we have these three carbon chain the third method starting from ketene probably you know the structure of ketene this is the general structure c double bond c then another double bond then oxygen so in this case uh, by thermolysis or photolysis this co part can be removed and as a result, we are getting carbene. But here the problem is, they are not readily available precursor and also not very stable. They can polymerize under this type of reaction condition. So that is the reason you cannot use them widely. But if you simply want to synthesize very simple carbene like CH2, then ketene has been used extensively. That means in this case, these two R groups are basically simple hydrogen atom. Okay. The fourth method and the last method under fragmentation starting from three-membered carbon ring. Now three-membered carbon ring we know that is cyclopropane structure. This is highly strained structure, right? They have already high ground state energy because of this steric strain. So they will try to get relief from this strain and that is the reason it will be decomposed easily and ultimately it will give carbon intermediates again either by heating or irradiation light or heat so we have taken this type of cyclopropane 
where it is basically simple cyclopropyl but one side of the carbon we have two chlorine another side H and pH so when we are using uh, H nu that is light as if this part is uh, generating the carbon and the other part is removed as if it is now pH CH double one CH2 style another uh, cyclopropane type of moiety you can take but it is not exactly cyclopropane it is actually oxidant because uh, not three carbon atoms are present here one carbon atom is replaced by the heteroatom oxygen now the carbon that we are getting as if from this portion we are getting the carbon PHCH and the other part as there will be generation of double bond so it will be ultimately benzaldehyde that is the side product so in this way also we are getting this type of carbon so these are the four methods under fragmentation I hope now you have some clarity how we can synthesize car carbon by fragmentation methods so in the previous slide um, sorry previous video we have seen elimination method and in this video it is fragmentation methods total four precursor we have used fine i'll meet you in the next video thank you for your time